All right, guys, this is Dan with Arcade Funcade. We're back. This is the part two um, of the video. Uh, we're showing showing you guys the, um, the the different different style machines or games and uh, ROMs that we have in the sky or emulators. There's um, quite a fit, quite a few of them. I'm gonna I'm gonna higher the volume here a little bit. There we go. So there, there's quite a few. If you guys if you guys miss something, just just pause and, and rewind so you guys can kind of see what what's in here. So there, there's quite a few things, um, quite a few machines. So it's kind of kind of cool. There's a, a lot of uh, a lot of the Neo Geo stuff in here. Uh, I remember playing playing a Neo Geo back in the day at a pizza place. It was freaking awesome. Usually had about four to six games in in the machine. So I remember playing uh, Metal Slug in there. Check that out. Metal Slug thumbs up. Neo Geo Pocket. So there's there's quite a few um, systems. Uh, with some of the some of the newer games like the PlayStation, PlayStation Two. It's not brand new, but obviously the newer games that are on this list. Um, there's only a couple of games in those guys. There's about 30 on the PlayStation 2, and there's about 16 to 1700 on the play, original PlayStation 1. So that's pretty neat. Uh, the PSP, that one actually has quite a bit, quite a few games, and uh, not terribly many, but not, not a whole bunch, but definitely uh, enough to play. I know there's a uh, Grand Theft Auto, the Liberty Stories, and v Vice City, so they got a war. You know some of these guys on there. So that's kind of neat that you can actually see some of this stuff. Like we showed, like in the beginning of the first video, we showed a couple uh, games playing there. Yeah, Lumens, Metal Gear Solid, it's a good game, Silent Hill. So there's there's probably about 20 games, 20, 25 games for the PSP. Jump, I'm gonna jump out here. You got Supervision. So so a lot of um, a lot of the arcade games, the actual like big big game game list is a homebrew, the HP homebrew MAME. These are made up games that people people just make up and they're part of the system. Um, you have the MAME system. This is where all your arcade stuff is at. So the MAME, the MAME, that's the Multiple Arcade uh, Machine Emulator uh, System. So that guy, that guy has everything, uh, all the all the coin operated stuff. So I'm gonna jump in there, and you can see you could just jump down. So what's kind of cool about this is that this list is is incredibly massive, um, huge, huge uh, um, game list. So very big, very large uh, game list. So what we do is that to be able to navigate it faster. What we do is we take the joystick, and we press right. And, and you can just jump from A, B, C to so the first first letter of every uh, of the alphabet and uh, first letter of every list that's on there. So uh, the ne the next thing you can do is hold the joystick to the right, the the big uh, player one joystick. You hold it to the right, and you'll see the letter pop up E. And all you got to do is just just let it go when it pops up, and then just tap to the right to go to E F G H I J K L M N O P. If you want to go back, just press left, and you go back up and down. So that's kind of cool. So we're going to stop on the end here and jump into one of our favorite games. It's going to be the uh, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. So as this guy, this guy's going on. We're gonna show you guys. Putting some coins in here. Both sides. There we go. So you could higher and lower the volume on the, on the back monitor with the HDMI cord, um, or the, with the HDMI. You can you can just use a TV remote and higher and lower the, the, the volume on that as well. So it's kind of neat that you have a lot of options to higher and lower the volume. So I mean it's it's pretty cool. If you get a little bit of an echo, you just lower the volume on, on one one system or the other, whether it's the, the cocktail table, the mega cade table, or the uh, the back screen. So yeah, and you can still see that this guy's showing on the wall mount screen that has the HDMI. In case you guys didn't watch the other video, this is a dual model dual monitor uh, system that you can actually do. Put the Megacade, put, you get the Megacade system to run a back back monitor and and another uh, third monitor. And, and you can also see the game on this table as well. So I'm actually going to flip that back. Um, this thing's going to go 
dark for a second. Go to HDMI 2. All the screens are going to go turn black. See how these guys all turn on in a little bit. So then you have the all three monitors working simultaneously. So you have the back, the 70 inch screen, this is a 32, and you have another 32 on the table itself. So you have um, all the games showing on, on both monitors. So again, um, th this, is, this is a video that we're showing. So, so we can kind of show how, what, what the uh, possibilities are for these mega caves. So we, what we can do is set up a system that has whether you just want to go with a cocktail table with the machine, with the, with the monitor on the machine and play the game with the, with the monitor on the game system, you could do that. Or if you go with a secondary option of going with a second monitor, you could do that. Or you could just, just um, not get the back monitor and just do HDMI out directly from the machine to your existing TV at home. So if you have a TV at home, you can just do an HDMI cable right from the machine. When we provide a 30-foot cable, so you can just plug it right up to the machine. And uh, or I'm sorry, right, up to, right from the machine to the TV, and and we had a lot of questions about uh, what size, what's the largest monitor we could actually go and, and install this, the uh, image on, and there is no limit. You could actually go up to 10 feet if you like. You could use a projector screen. You could use a, a movie theater screen. Um, you could do whatever you want. And uh, this screen here is a 70 inch screen, and and it has has no issues. The um, the the clarity is incredible. It's actually up converted to 1080i, so it's super clear. And and the you can see the, the little side borders, the little main side borders. Uh, so the way this is made is to where the the aspect ratio is the true aspect ratio that was used on the original arcades. It's a 4.3 aspect ratio, so it's a little more squared out than the than the wide screens that we have nowadays. Um, and the whole idea is to keep it to where the machine isn't doesn't get that uh, stretched stretched image uh, feel so that's the idea of having this guy on a um, uh, having this guy with a border on, on each side so that's kind of cool the the other thing we're going to be working on and it's, it's going to be kind of cool that you know this is this is an awesome feature I gotta use this thing this damn gimbal um, what we're going to end up doing is setting up a, um, a a way to be able to play head to head so you're, you're actually going to set up a NBA jam control panel here and it has three three buttons. It'll have three buttons, and you'll be able to play NBA Jam. And what, what what's going to happen here is that the screen is going to split down the middle, and this entire image flips over to, from one side to the other. So each each uh, person has their very own um, control panel. So that's going to be awesome. I'm going to put set down the camera really quick here, and I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to plug in a a little a little keyboard here. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. I'll be right back. All right, now I'm back. So I'm going to I'm going to be plugging in a little keyboard here, just so you can do a couple uh, a couple little things. And this keyboard is going to allow me so. What we do is we go to the keyboard and we press tab, tab on the controller, I'm um, sorry, on the keyboard itself. And uh, what, that, what that thing's going to do is it's going to shoot up a, I got to wait for it to connect here. I may have to jump out to allow the, uh, the system to connect that little, little uh, keyboard. But what, what it's going to essentially do is go into a, uh, menu on the screen and it's going to ask us to, for the orientation of the screen. What what uh, what way do you want the the, uh, the screen to be showing? So Well, that's actually kind of cool. You should look right down on this guy Right there, so we're gonna see See this guy do its thing. Um, it's not connecting, so we gotta wait. <laughs> the the woes of working on our machines at times. 
And again, I should have had, I should have had this uh, keyboard plugged in before I started doing all this. There it goes. I think I connected up. All right. So you, you can see there that it says input general, and it also says input this game, and it says dip switches. So I'm going to jump into, I'm going to press the enter button and go to uh, dip switches. So this guy, he shows you how to add coins, how many players. So if you want to play head to head, you want to play pick uh, players, two player, the two player game mode. If you want to play um, on the same team, you go in here and you change it over to the four player side. So there's a, there's there's a little bit of a difference. So you can see you can see that little number there change. It goes from player two to player four. So I'm going to leave it on on two player, and you can also change out the uh, amount of coins you want to be used on there. So that's kind of neat. I'm going to go back to uh, the main menu, and I believe it is video options. So we're going to go down here, go down to cocktail mode. So what's cool about this guys, if you press cocktail mode, take keep it keep it on the screen. If I press that, it actually goes and changes it completely. So it does a head-to-head -head, uh, image. So that's it's pretty pretty cool that it kind of messes with that thing. And uh, so so you can actually change out the aspect ratio. You can you can stretch it. You can change it. You could um, go on cocktail mode like we were talking about. Do head-to-head, -head, and then you go down here. And you press you press rotate. So then, now you have, I'm, I'm going to have to go back. And I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to have to uh, return to game. I'm going to press tab again. I'm going to go to dip switches. And I'm going to press reset. So it'll reset the game. So now we are back, and we have we now have full um, full screen. So uh, what we're trying to do, what we're tr what we're going to be doing here, I should say, is we're going to be making an NBA Jam theme machine here for the shop. And what's going to be happening is that we're going to be able to play head to head. So we'll be able to play um, head to head here. So you can see you can see the game system right here, and we're going to be using. The control panels to be able to play the game, so you can play head to head on uh, on this guy. So sometimes, sometimes some people want to play head to head, and we're going to be making a different style uh, arcade this year. We're going to be doing some some more R and D, and we're going to be kind of kind of mimicking, I should say, uh, something something. We're going to make something like the uh, like the Red Tent Nintendo Red Tent, but with a with a little bit of a twist. We're going to make it a little bit uh, crazier and just add add some massive uh, massive screens. And make it to where you could actually get it into doorways and uh, set it up in some, you know, have some cool bezel art on it. And that way you could play play a game and not have to be, you know, sitting sitting right next to each other. And the whole idea for that is to be able to be able to play um, in a on a narrow narrow cabinet because I have seen that there's a lot of customers that want to have more of a space saver kind of style uh, table. So we're going to be going head to head uh, rather than rather than side by side to side here. So that's going to be kind of neat. Uh, it's going to be something we're going to be doing new this year. And uh, stay tuned for that. That's going to be kind of cool. And that, well, now, that we, now that we're showing this thing, we got a, a 32 inch in the back. And you can see the bottom. And you got this other 32 inch, in the, uh, I'm sorry, the 70 inch in the back over here. And this guy is what I'm talking about. We're probably going to be making these massive tables. And we have this really, weird, really funny thing going on. We actually bought this... Uh, this little table here so we can do run some tests so we're gonna do some uh, some real life testing we're gonna take off that tabletop and we're gonna add a, a metal frame for it or with it on it and slide in the metal frame and put a TV on there with a glass top with a tempered glass top so that way we can actually have uh, have some NBA Jam games uh, head head to head and we'll do a split screen so we could do. You don't have to be sitting on the same side. So we'll do a split screen, so you could actually see uh, see the gameplay. We could either do a smaller screen in the middle of the table, 
or we could do a, a full size screen uh, head to head and just be able to play on one side. So we could do a lot of different things now and we're kind of going from there. Excuse the mess, we have so many things everywhere. <laughs> we have um, so many little little uh, things happening at the same time and it's crazy. So so yeah, so these three, these, these, uh, three screens uh, are really cool. We, we've actually gotten to the point, gotten to the point where we can uh, do HDMI out wireless. Uh, that's a whole other feature we've been messing with. Um, usually, th there's been a couple of customers that have been playing around with that. A couple of electricians, uh, some guys that we've we've talked to, gone back and forth about and uh, about that idea, and and we have seen it work with uh, HDMI out with a uh, it's it's called a wireless HDMI out with from a company called. Uh, it's a unit called Rocketfish. I'm sorry, the factory or the, the maker is called Rocketfish. I'm just trying to throw a little plug in for them. But um, that, that seems to be one of the better priced um, uh, systems. A lot of these guys go over four or five hundred bucks, six hundred bucks for a wireless HDMI system. And uh, Rocketfish, I believe they have them for about two hundred, three hundred bucks. So it's kind of a little more afford affordable and, uh, and, and I guess more expendable, I guess. If something happens to it, I mean, you, you could always toss it out and get another one, get two for the price of one, I guess. But, um, Anyway, yeah, we wanted to show you guys what, what, what these things could do, where we're at with these guys, and kind of show you uh, some of the crazy little things that have been happening. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you want us to get, build you guys a custom cabinet, let us know. Um, if you guys have any systems or anything you want us to throw in there, you can, we could do that too. So um, you have your own, any of your own equipment or whatever, we can do that. Uh, we, lately, we've been doing a lot of um, cocktail tables that people have been shipping in, sending in. And what we do is we completely dismantle them and throw our systems on them. So that's pretty awesome. We do 16 ones, 412 stand-ups. We do some uh, full, full, full-size arcades like these guys here. Right, this is a full-size build. This is going to be an NBA Jam or a Mortal Kombat 2. Either way, we might we might go with one or the other. Uh, it's going to be an in-shop arcade, and hopefully we get get to that guy in the next month or two, month or so. And we have this other Miss Pac-Man Gallica we just finished up, and uh, we're just waiting on a coin door. <laughs> so that's about it. So yeah, that's, that's uh, so so we're building we're building all kinds of stuff out here. We got some virtual pin pinball machines. If you guys um, know anything about those guys, these guys are some crazy crazy machines. I know we went over the, some of the pinball machine games, and this is literally a full size pinball machine in a in a full size pinball body. So the thing is really crazy. I mean, you kind of kind of see that it's got a full full wrap art, artwork, and uh, it's got all the it's got a couple extra screens up here. So you, you see this guy up here it shows all the all the um, all the, the little the little uh, DMD screen. It shows all the high scores and all that. It has the, the backlight, and it's kind of cool because it's interactive. So it's not just just a, a graphic like most pinball machines it actually has interactive little things going on uh here and there so that's pretty rad there's, there's quite a few games in this guy it has about 144 games uh 122 games i think i got that wrong last time as well so it's quite a quite a cool well pretty cool machine and uh, again we have a bunch of arcades just regular arcades and and uh on whatever so if you guys have any questions let us let us know uh give us a call at 402-641-4482 and or uh, send us an email at arcadefuncade at gmail.com and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, you can go on our website. Our website's going to be arcadefuncade.net. Um, again, arcadefuncade.net. 